Hey everyone, it's Spilios from Stars Over Bucks. I often get questions on how I create the 2D animations of my astrophotos. So here's a short tutorial using Adobe After Effects, which will walk you through the process. Okay, so we're in After Effects. And the first step is to create a new project. So I'll just click up here and then create a new composition. It'll bring up a box for, uh, for settings. And uh, typically this is uh, what I use. Um, so you can see the resolution uh, of the image here, uh, but you can come up here and uh, choose uh, different resolutions uh, depending on uh, you know, what you'd like to do. I uh, typically change the frame rate. So I have a little bit of a higher frame rate at 45 frames per second. You can go up to 60 frames per second as well, maybe depending on how long your video is gonna do. That will allow you to slow down uh, the video a little bit afterwards uh, to get the right uh, pace if you're not happy with um, what it looks like. And then I leave everything else the same. So we can press OK. Um, so here is our, our composition. So right now it is just a, a plain composition. Now uh, down here, I'll come and adjust the sliders depending on how long uh, we want the video to be. But um, actually, right now it's set at 16 seconds. That's probably because that was the length of my last video. So that's uh, that's probably like the right um, length of the video that we want to create today. So um, after that, we want to import the images uh, that we're going to use to uh, create this uh, 2D animation. So we'll just come up to File, Import, um, and then press File. Looking for M. 81, 82, Starless. So there it is. Just click that. And you can see uh, it is now listed underneath here, uh, but is not yet part of your composition. So all you want to do is uh, click on it and then drag it into your composition one box. Um, and there it is. Now you'll see that it's uh, much larger than uh, the actual composition box that we're working on. Um, so what we want to do first is, uh, is make some adjustments to that. So down here, uh, you can uh, click on the little arrow here under your starless image. You'll see the transform box and then click down again. And it'll open up uh, the number of different things that you can change uh, about uh, the image. So you have the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. I'm normally only changing the middle three, so position, scale, um, and rotation. And, and you can see here, uh, this shows kind of where you are within your video. And so right now we are at the beginning uh, of our video. So what I want to change first is uh, the scale of this because the image is too large for the composition. So I'm going to click on uh, this here. It automatically enters kind of our, our first uh, let's call it transformation point within the video. And then I want to come up here and, uh, and change the scale. So typically, um, I'm going to change this to about 65. Press Enter. Um, that looks pretty good. It's pretty much covering uh, the composition. I can go a little bit lower. Um, so I think uh, I think that could, that's that's pretty good. And it, it all depends like what type of effect you're looking for. If you're looking for a zoom in effect, you want to start wide. So you're just going to have the scale set uh, just enough to be able to cover your composition frame. Uh, but for example, if you're going to do something where you want it to have more movement as opposed to just zoom, uh, you might scale in a little bit more. So for example, let's make this uh, 80 um, press enter. Uh, and now I can come up here and drag this box to where I want the starting point to be. Um, so that, that actually looks pretty good there. And then we can have the galaxies kind of drift across the frame um, during the animation. So I think that's probably where I'm gonna, gonna end up um, on, uh, on this video. Um, so that's, uh, that's our starting point. Um, so we've adjusted, uh, I'm gonna put, just click on position as well. So that will kind of lock in what our initial uh, position is. Um, not planning on having any rotation here, but if you wanted rotation, you would uh, click on here and then you can make adjustments um, later on in your video. So that sets the starting point for our video. Um, what I'll do now is uh, typically, I'm just gonna drag this right across to the end of the video. 
like so. Um, then I'm going to click on this uh, diamond over here next to scale, and it'll put in another transformation point here. And all you do is you come in here uh, and press the level of zoom uh, that you want. So I'm going to try 100 here. See how that looks. That looks like it's pretty good, like it'll frame it in well. Uh, and then I'll also press the diamond for the position. Then all I do is like the drag in where do I want the galaxies to be uh, in the final position. So again, they started up at the corner. Uh, you can decide to have them centered here. I'm probably going to go a little bit further, just have a little bit more movement uh, and bring in kind of that satellite galaxy that's up at the top left. So there you go. That is kind of the, the first step. Uh, we've selected kind of what we want our image to look like. Uh, now we're going to start to add layers to this. So I'm going to come up here again, uh, file, uh, import, um, or next file. So if I scroll down here, I will actually have um, the stars. So uh, here they are. Again, it's not part of the composition yet. You have to drag it onto the composition, uh, and it's uh, going to go on top of the existing com um, composition. So right now, all you can see are the stars. You can't see the galaxies. So uh, very easy to, uh, to address that. We just uh, right-click um, on your mouse, uh, and then we want to go down to uh, blending mode. Uh, and here, this will... Uh, you know, you have different options in terms of how you want to blend the stars uh, into your image. I can tell you pretty much all the time I am using these right here. Uh, and I'll typically try some different ones until I get the right effect. I can tell you often I'm using either Color Dodge, uh, Screen, or, or Lighten. Those are kind of my uh, go-tos, I would say. So uh, just to start with, I'm going to press Color Dodge. And you can see now I can uh, see the, uh, the galaxies, and then I have my stars. Um, in front of the galaxies uh, as well. So what I uh, typically want to do for this first layer of stars is I'm just going to come back over uh, to this side of the video. I'm um, going to look at uh, my compositions here, and I, and I basically want to copy them fairly similarly on, on the stars. So I uh, will go over here, press that arrow, uh, press on Transform. Again, I'm going to select uh, Position and Scale which are the two things that I want to uh, adjust. I'm going to use the same scale here of uh, 80%. Uh, so I'll just go in there and enter it. Uh, and then I want to use the same position as a starting point as well. So we have 1473 for the first uh, coordinate. And then the second coordinate is 573. Just go ahead and enter that. Uh, and now we we should have our stars and our uh, background uh, image of the galaxies completely uh, aligned with one another. So on my first layer of stars, so we'll drag this back over here. Um, I like starting with the stars in the right position. And then typically, um, I'm only going to have very little movement of those stars over the course of the video on the background um, here. So. Uh, for scale, instead of going to 100, I'm probably going to go maybe a little bit higher. So I'll press on this and uh, maybe decide to go to, let's try 110 uh, for the stars. I'll press Enter. Um, looks good. And then from a position standpoint, um, we can zoom out here. So I'm going to zoom out to 12.5%. So now we have our... You can see both of our uh, boxes. Uh, I'm going to go over here and uh, compose my stars there. Okay, like so. So I um, can zoom back in. And now, if I um, just go back here, I can move this and have a sense of what is the motion going to look like. So again, we're starting with our stars in the right place. The stars have a little bit of motion uh, over time. Um, to be honest, that might be more than what I'd want for my background stars. So, but that gives you a sense there of what that's going to look like. So I might 
if I come in here, if I want to make a, an edit here, uh, I can just click click on this, uh, double click on it. It'll bring up a box and I'll change that maybe to 105 in terms of the scale. Let's try that. Um, just zoom back out and I can uh, move this to be back aligned. Okay. And then we will zoom back in. All right, and now you can see the movement of the stars is uh, is a lot more subtle. So uh, that gives it a bit of a 3D effect, um, but it's not dramatic motion. So that is, I think that is good for that later. Uh, now, typically I'm gonna add uh, at least one or two layers more of, uh, of stars uh, here. So uh, what I like to do is use the same stars uh, from this uh, image. So that's what I'm going to do there. But you can definitely use stars from a different uh, image uh, to create the uh, the effect that you want as well. So just to make some space, I'm going to click this back down. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to file, import, oops, import file. They go to find my stars again. There they are. Um, again, I'm going to rename this just so let's try it again, rename, call that stars2. And then I'm going to drag it back into the composition. So there you go, you have, you have the stars again. Um, I'm going to choose a blending mode. Uh, I might try using the light and blending mode for this one. I think that looks, um, that looks good. And uh, again, we're going to have to uh, transform this one. So for this one, we're going to do things uh, a little bit differently. I want to zoom in much more uh, to the stars. These are going to be kind of the faster uh, moving stars. Um, so you want them to zoom in. They're going to be a little bit larger because they, they're supposed to be kind of in the foreground. So uh, again, we'll click on our position and scale. Um, for scale, I'm going to start. Well, Make sure we drag this over. Okay, so for scale, I am going to start with, well, let me try 150. So now you can see the box gets much bigger. Um, and then I'm gonna play with um, the position here as my starting point. So we want this whole movement to be going diagonally. Here you can see the stars uh, kind of moving. So we wanna find, Kind of a nice place to uh, to start this, where we're going to have kind of a similar motion to how the galaxies are moving. So I'm going to try. Uh, I might want to avoid some of those brighter stars. So I'm going to start it right there, and then come over here. Now I have the diamonds there already. So what I'm going to do is um, you can see it says 100, but I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to go aggressive, uh, maybe do about 225. And then again, we want to now change and zoom out some, a little bit more so you can kind of see where the box is. And then we want to cause the movement to be in the same direction with the image. So we avoid those two bright stars. So, so right about there. Okay, make sure everything's kind of moving right. And then I'll zoom back in. And then we'll just drag this. All right, so that gives you a sense of what it looks like. Now, I can tell you uh, probably too much motion of that, uh, that layer of stars. So come back over here. And uh, I'm going to need to move this down a bit more. It's right about there. That looks right to me. Come back. Okay, so that is uh, looking better. Um, so I think our galaxies are moving a little bit more um, 
diagonally, what I can do to, uh, to fix that. It does take a, a little bit of tweaking here. Uh, I'll click on my position box here. Back to this uh, six and a quarter magnification. Let me just okay. That looks like it's uh, it's pretty well aligned. So um, again, um, I usually I usually probably uh, play with this uh, at least eight or nine times before I'm uh, before I'm really happy with it, but. That's the general process. Uh, and then what you can do is, uh, if you want an additional layer of stars, which I often do, um, I will have less motion on this layer of stars. Uh, and then I'll add more zoom and more motion to the, the subsequent layer of stars. That's usually about as far as you can go. If you keep adding more and more layers, uh, you're generally going to make it too busy and kind of wash out uh, your galaxies uh, in the background. So. Once you're happy with the video and this isn't quite there, we'll, we'll do some more tweaking on this. All you have to do is come up back up to file, uh, go into export, um, add it to the render queue. So you have this box that changes here in the bottom. Uh, you have to just save, uh, oops, just have to save, double click, save on where you want this. So I'll just call this uh, M81 uh, version one. Press save, and then you come over here and uh, and render. All right, and uh, the software will now create the video frame by frame, and it normally takes a couple of minutes to do so, and then it will save it uh, to uh, to your computer. So that is uh, the entire process. Hope this was helpful. Uh, please uh, enter any comments or questions that you have below, and I'll make sure that I get back to them. If this was helpful, please subscribe, and you'll get access to other videos that I'll be posting. And here is a final look at the uh, animated uh, video of the galaxies. Hope you enjoy it.